Donald Trump, sure. Son of Donald Trump, said the efforts of President Donald Trump and his team to advance the interests of the United States continue. He described such efforts as a movement of the people against the elite. In a video on Trump Jr.'s social media accounts titled, Here's What's Next for Our Amazing Movement, he told his supporters, Just want to make sure everyone knows, guys, we're not done yet. Trump Jr. then shared a recent video of his dad walking off a golf course and saying, We're not done yet. He's actually right, Trump Jr. said of his father's remarks. In fact, this movement is not over yet. All the blood, sweat and tears that you guys have put into this business are still alive and well. You see it? I mean, this is really a movement of people, a movement against the establishment, a movement against the elite. He continued, many of these things have been brewing for quite some time. And that's why I'm still busy and we're going to fight to elect people who really represent people, people like you who have been through a lot. Trump Jr. said that President Trump will continue to engage in this fight. I know he will still continue. I know we have a lot of problems, we have always been against, said Trump, sure. Later adding that his father will be there to make sure we have people who really understand what America is. The president's son turned to talk about how fact-checking on social media appears to be anti-conservative and condescending to the other side. Based on his personal experience, he said that his content is fact-tested, even if there is even a little inconsistency. When I look at the things I post on my social media, this content is fact-tested, he said. I see it every day, but I don't see it from the other side. I don't see Joe Biden checking facts. Not a single tweet by Joe Biden has been verified, there are so many wrong ones that they posted. It really hurts, Trump Jr. said. He argued that the Biden administration appeared to be pursuing a China first, America second policy, accusing the new administration of crushing jobs amid the pandemic. It seems that the nonsense will never end, but neither our struggle, nor our determination, nor our will to continue has dried up. We will continue to defend the interests of the American people and ensure that our children grow up in a country that we all recognize and love, he said. Trump recently opened the former president's office, which aims to advance the interests of the United States and fulfill his administration's agenda. Jason Miller, a campaign advisor, said in January that Trump would run in the 2022 midterm elections with the immediate goal of helping Republicans reclaim both houses of Congress. When Trump left Washington for Florida on January 20, he told his supporters that he and his team would be back in some form. We love you. We'll be back in some form, he said then. I will always fight for you. I will always wash. I will listen. On Friday, Trump appears to have made his first post on social media since leaving the White House. The report released a letter from Trump's attorneys to House Representative Jamie Ruskin, the House's chief impeachment manager, saying they reject an attempt to force Trump to testify in the upcoming impeachment process. House Democrats have impeached Trump on one charge alleging he provoked a crowd into the Capitol on January 6. The Democrats were joined by 10 Republicans. This is the first time in us history that a president has been impeached twice. It is also the first time that a president has been tried in an impeachment case since leaving office. In a court memo, Trump's lawyers denied the charges and challenged the constitutionality of Trump's trial after he left office.